three required parameters are load inertia, WKI, and your pre-cat and post-cat mode. To start with, you must be logged in to ESM2 in order to make those changes. The changes take place in the parameters tab. To log in to ESM2, select user, select your profile, and enter your six digit code. Once you are logged in, the parameters tab will appear. Click on the light blue parameters tab. To set the load inertia, we will go to the engine governor tab, select load inertia, and input the appropriate value. Once this is done, click Save. From there, we are going to set our WKI. The WKI is set in the ignition screen. Select your value and input the appropriate WKI that your engine is running on. Again, click Save. Next, we will select the appropriate pre-catalyst or post-catalyst mode. This is done in the AFR screen. ESM2 defaults to pre-catalyst when doing a fuel system setup. Select the drop-down and select either pre-catalyst or post-catalyst to determine your catalyst mode. There you have it. You have set your three required parameters in ESM2.